Hello, this is Janila, the person behind Crafty Crochet Castle, and in this video, I'll show you the pattern to crochet the small motorcycle. This motorcycle is perfect for little hands to hold and play. I have a pattern tutorial for this motorcycle in my channel as well, and I wanted to crochet a smaller one so that this would be a perfect addition for our road drawstring bag playset. This playset has a road drawstring bag which has road designs on both the sides and a car. You can attach a key ring to this project and use it as a keychain as well, or you can crochet it and add it to your drawstring bag playset. The pattern for the drawstring bag, the car and the other motorcycle are available in my YouTube channel. I've shared the links in the description box below. This motorcycle is four and a half inches long. Even though this pattern has basic crochet stitches, I would rate the difficulty of this as hard as the pattern has lots of parts and there is a simply required. To crochet this motorcycle, I'm using worsted weight yarn in four colors, black, gray, orange, and yellow. This is 100% acrylic yarn and we would need very tiny amount of yarn. This is a perfect scrap yarn project. I'm using 4.5 mm crochet hook, scissors, yarn needle, stitch markers, and we would need some polyfill stuffing. The details of these materials are in the description box below. Gauge is not a critical factor for this project, but make sure to use a hook that is one or two sizes smaller than the hook recommended for the yarn weight. Now let us crochet the wheels with a fender. For that, I'm starting off with my gray yarn here. I will do a magic circle first for round one. To do a magic circle, I will wrap the yarn around my two fingers and cross it over at the point where both the yarn meets. Next, I will pinch here. Take my fingers out. We'll have a little loop over here. I will insert my hook inside this loop yarn over and bring up a loop so this is from the skein end so once when i have this i'm gonna take all my fingers out and hold everything in place and i'll make sure the tension on the loop on the hook is not too loose or not too tight once when we do that we can yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook so there we have made a magic circle this ring is adjustable and we'll be working around one stitches in here if you find it hard to do a magic circle you can always do the alternate stitch that is chain two and work your round one stitches in the second chain from the hook so now for this pattern round one will have six single crochet inside the ring so i'll be working my single crochet across these two strands of yarn over here so to do a single crochet i'll insert my hook yarn over and bring up a loop i'll have two loops on the hook i'll yarn over and pull through both the loops on the hook so i have made one single crochet here i'll do five more so that we have a total of six single crochet for round one After completing a total of six single crochet we can hold the stitches like this and grab the tail with the other hand and pull this see how the opening is getting smaller and smaller and it is finally closed so there we have closed our magic circle after this i'm going to join with a slip stitch in my very first single crochet over here so i'll insert my hook inside the stitch i will yarn over and bring a loop through the stitch and through the loop on the hook so there we have joined with a slip stitch now we can finish off over here to finish it off i'm going to trim the yarn over here next i will yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook all the way through and tighten this up so there we have completed our round one now let's continue working on the wheel and the fender and i will use black yarn here now for round two i'm going to join black yarn to any stitch of round one to do so i'll insert my hook inside the stitch and i will hold my black yarn like this and i will yarn over and bring the yarn now i'll yarn over and pull through so there we have attached with a slip stitch you can use any joining method as your preference so now let us continue working on round two I will do chain one here to do a chain I'll yarn over and pull through the loop on the hook so this chain counts as a single crochet in this pattern so now in the same stitch I will do one single crochet so now I will work two single crochet in each of the remaining five stitches over here 
so i'll do two single crochet in the same stitch once when we complete 12 single crochet i'm going to join on top of the first stitch over here with a slip stitch so once when we do that we can finish it off leaving a long tail over here we'll be using this tail to attach the wheels now we have completed the wheel part now let's crochet our fender over here for the fender i'm using orange yarn here so i'll be joining orange with a slip stitch to the next stitch So once when we join the yarn, I will do chain one here. This again counts as a stitch. So now I will do one single crochet in the same stitch. Now in the next stitch, I'll do one single crochet. I will work two single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet in the next stitch. Two single crochet in the next stitch. and one single crochet in the next stitch so at this point i'm going to finish off over here leaving a long tail so there we have completed one portion of the wheels with a fender for one wheel and fender i'm going to take two pieces so you're going to crochet a total of four such pieces here for two wheels so now i'm going to hold both the wrong sides together like this And using the long tail over here I will sew these two ends together and using the black long tail I'll be sewing the wheel portion together over here make sure to put all these tails inside our wheels before you sew them while sewing I'm using only the back loops of both these pieces of So there we have crocheted one wheel with fender make sure to crochet one more now let us crochet the engine and fuel tank together so let's get started working on the engine so i'm taking my black yarn here i will do chain four first and we'll be crocheting around one stitches on these chains so in the second chain from the hook so this is the first chain and this is the second chain here I will do three single crochet in the same chain and in the next chain I will do one single crochet I will do three single crochet in the very first chain over here a project would have turned now and we'll be crocheting on the other side of the chains so in the next chain i will do one single crochet over here so this is round one we are not joining at the end of each round over here you can use a stitch marker to mark the last stitch of the round for round two i will do two single crochet in my next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches I'll be repeating this pattern one more time over here that is two single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet in the next three stitches this is round two and this round will have a total of 10 single crochet when you're at the end of the stitch marker over here this marks the last stitch so once when you're here you can remove the stitch marker crochet the stitch and then place the stitch marker back in the last stitch of this round 
If you do not have a stitch marker, you can use a piece of another color yarn in its place. For round three, the repeat pattern would be two single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by one single crochet in the next four stitches. I'll be repeating this pattern one more time here. And round three will have a total of 12 single crochet. Now we will be crocheting the last round for our engine which is round 4. For this round I will do 2 single crochet in the next stitch. Followed by 1 single crochet in the next 2 stitches. So this will be the repeat pattern for the round. I will be repeating this pattern around. And round 4 will have a total of 16 single crochet. When I'm at the last stitch over here I'll be changing my yarn color to orange you can either complete this stitch join with a slip stitch and finish off and change the color just like how we did in the wheels and fender or you can follow this to change the color that is I will start my single crochet like how I would normally do but instead of yarning over with this yarn and completing this stitch I'm gonna grab my new yarn I'm gonna place it here and I will complete this last single crochet with a new color yarn so once when you do that we can pull the black yarn tight and we can finish it off over here you can also tie these two yarns together the tails together so that it will be more secure so now let's crochet the fuel tank so for the fuel tank I will crochet it one single crochet in every stitch around this is going to be my round five So now let's crochet round six for this round we'll be decreasing over here so i'll start off with a single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease to do so i'll insert my hook inside the next stitch yarn over and bring up a loop so instead of finishing this stitch i would insert my hook inside the next stitch yarn over and bring a loop so now i have a total of three loops on the hook i would have taken two stitches on the bottom now i'd yarn over and pull through all three loops at once this stitch is called as the single crochet two together or a single crochet decrease so we have taken two stitches and completed as one stitch now I will do one single crochet in the next two stitches this is going to be the repeat pattern for the round the repeat pattern would be single crochet two together followed by one single crochet in the next two stitches I'll be repeating this pattern around and Round 6 will have a total of 12 stitches. Now let us crochet the last round for this part which is round 7. The repeat pattern for this round is single crochet decrease followed by one single crochet in the next stitch. I will be repeating the stitches around and round 7 will have a total of 8 stitches. So 
so once when we complete this round you can join with a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish off over here now we can stuff this part with some polyfill stuffing so now we can close this opening to do so i'm going to thread this yarn in a yarn needle and i will be inserting this needle in the front loops of all the stitches remaining in the last round so we have two loops over here normally we'll insert a hook like this when we are working on both the loops for this we are using only the loop that is towards you leaving out the other loop that is the front loop so i will thread it over here like this So once when we have used up all the stitches over here, I'm going to pull this tail. See how the opening is getting closed over here. And once when you do so, you can secure it with a knot over here. And then we can weave the tail in. To weave in the tail, I'm going to insert the needle next to the point over here. And we can pull it out in a random spot like this and once when you do so you can take your needle out make sure the piece has not lost its shape and then you can trim it off over here we have completed our engine and fuel tank now let us crochet the seat i'm taking black yarn here i will do chain four And we'll be crocheting around one in these chains so in the second chain from the hook i will do two single crochet in the same chain i will do a single crochet in the next chain and i will do two single crochet in the very first chain now our project would have turned to the other side and we'll be working on this side of the chains I will do one single crochet in the next chain so this marks the end of round one I'm not going to join with a slip stitch at the end of each round for this pattern so you can use a stitch marker here to mark the end of each round round one will have a total of six stitches for the next six rounds that is round two to seven we'll be working one single crochet in every stitch around each round will have a total of six single crochet so at the end of round two you can push the right side outside and you can continue working on the remaining rounds So this is how the seat will begin to look now i'll meet you when i complete round seven of round seven our seat would look like this now we can join with a slip stitch in the next stitch and finish off leaving a long tail we do not have to close this opening you can stuff this seat very lightly with polyfill stuffing For the fork, I'm taking my gray yarn here. I'll do a slip knot followed by chain six. And then we can finish off over here, leaving a tail. Make sure to crochet one more. Now let's crochet the handlebar. I'll take my gray yarn over here. I'll do a slip knot followed by chain 10. now in the second chain from the hook so this is the first chain from the hook and this is the second chain from the hook here i will do one slip stitch and i will do a slip stitch in the remaining chains over here we'll have a total of nine slip stitches here Once when we finish working on our slip stitches, we can finish off over here. So there is our handlebar. 
Now let us crochet headlight and the tail light. For that I'm taking my yellow yarn and I'll do a magic circle followed by four single crochet inside the ring. After completing four single crochet, I'll be joining with a slip stitch in my first stitch and I'll finish off over here leaving a long tail. We'll be using this tail to sew the lights onto the motorcycle so make sure the tail is big enough and you can bring the right side outside. So there we have completed the light. Make sure to crochet one more. Now let us crochet the exhaust. I'm taking my gray on here. I will do chain five. And now we'll be working the stitches on these chains. So in the second chain from the hook, this is the second chain. I will do a single crochet followed by a half double crochet in the next chain. To do a half double crochet, I'll yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over and bring up a loop. So we'll have three loops on the hook. I'll yarn over and pull through all three loops at once. Now in the next stitch, I will do a single crochet. And we'll have the last chain remaining here. I will do a slip stitch here. And once when we do that, I'll do chain eight. And then we can finish off over here. Make sure to leave a very long tail because we'll be using this tail to sew this entire exhaust onto our motorcycle. Here we have all the parts for our motorcycle. The two forks, headlight, handlebar, seat, tail light, back wheel, front wheel, exhaust and the engine and the fuel tank. Now let's see how to assemble this. For assembly, I'm going to use the long tail and thread it in the yarn needle and I'm going to sew the parts together. If you would prefer to use a glue gun, make sure to weave in all the tails and then attach the parts together. So the first step is I'm going to take the seat. I'm going to attach it to our fuel tank over here like this. Seat is not a complete circle, but it's an oval shape over here. I'm going to attach it to the narrow side of our fuel tank like this and I will meet you after I attach this. The next step is to take the rear wheel with a fender and attach it to the bottom of our seat like this. I will sew it along the fender over here under our seat and I'm going to use the orange tail over here to attach it. I'll meet you once when I attach this. The next step is to take the front wheel and fender and attach it to the front of our engine and fuel tank like this. Make sure to position it such the way part of the fender is on the engine and you can attach it like this. The next step is to take the handlebar and attach it to the front center of our fuel tank and attach it at the center point over here. And after doing that, you can take the tail light and attach it between the seat and the fender like this. And you can take the headlight and attach it at the center of a handlebar. I'll meet you once when I attach all these. The next step of the assembly is to attach the exhaust onto our motorcycle. So position your motorcycle in such a way that the front side is facing your right side and then take the exhaust and position the chains along the engine over here like this and the exhaust itself onto our rear wheel. I will attach it like this and I will meet you after attaching this. The last step in the assembly is to attach the forks. So I'll be taking my fork, I'll be placing it over here and I'll attach it from the center of our front wheel to the center of our handlebar over here. I'll be repeating it for the other side as well. I'll meet you once when I attach this. Here is the motorcycle after attaching the forks on either side of the front wheel. You can crochet this in other colors as well. 
I hope you enjoy crocheting this along with me. Please show your support by subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching.